If you have never seen this coding question before, there is no way you'll be able to answer it during the interview. So given the head of a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. Let's say we're given this list with the following cycle. The first node in the cycle is 9, so we return the node 9. Let's break this question down into two parts. The first part is going to be cycle detection. We can implement a two pointer approach, one slow pointer and one fast pointer. The slow pointer moves forward one step at a time, and the fast pointer moves forward two steps at a time. If the slow pointer ever catches up to the fast pointer, then there is a cycle. Now the second part is finding our target node. So let's say we currently have K nodes before the cycle and M nodes inside the cycle. Now when the slow pointer reaches the start of the cycle, the fast pointer will be K steps into the cycle. The fast pointer catches up to the slow pointer one step at a time. That means they will meet at M minus K steps into the loop. Now that means both of the nodes are K steps from the beginning of the loop. What we can do is move the slow pointer back to the start of the list and then move both pointers one step at a time until they meet at the start of the cycle. Let's implement the function detect cycle taking the head of the list, create our slow and fast pointer. While the fast pointer has not reached the end of the list, move fast forward two steps, move slow forward one step. If slow catches up to fast, break from the loop. If fast reaches the end of the list, there is no cycle, return no. Move slow back to the head node. While slow is not equal to fast, move both pointer forward one step, and then we can return slow.